Oh, I mean your phone. Uh, I was talking to her on the phone, and she was crying. And uh, I go, what's the matter? And she said, Marilyn, I'm going through some things. I said, what's the matter? Tell me. Talk to me. She said, Mike and Mike Mike is not getting along. She said, Michael, Mike Mike got mad because I didn't give him my money and my car. He wanted my car. And uh, she said, he slapped me to the floor. I said, did he hurt you any kind of way? She said, no, not really. Oh, oh. but my, Mike Mike trying to uh, buck up to Michael. Michael got a gun, so you don't put your goddamn hands on my wife. <laughs> and got the gun, and Michael broke out the back door. And Michael went to the back door shooting at him. Ooh. Yeah. And say, Brenda, Brenda say, Can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. Um, y'all serving breakfast? Yes, ma'am. Like a sausage? <laughs> And biscuits? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's what I want. What you want, sir? I want, uh... A sausage and biscuits? Do you want cheese on that or no? No, no, sir. No cheese at all for me. All right, one double check. Yeah. You want cheese? Yes, yeah. uh, and, and a th two more sausage egg and biscuits. Put cheese on them, too. So two sausage egg and cheese and one just sausage egg? That's right. Uh, a jelly, if you got it. Okay, well, grape strawberry, man. Uh, grape would be good for me. All right. Do you have orange juice? We do have orange juice. Okay, give me an orange juice. Just one? You want one? Just one. All right. Anything else? Uh, that is. That's it. Pretty cool. 1173 at the window, man. All right. And, uh, <clears throat> so, I told Brenda, <laughs> I said, you put your pistol, start wearing it on you. Mm. Put it in your pocket. Put, start wearing an apron and put your pistol in your pocket. Mm. I said, because the next time he come in and try to put his hands on you, you shoot that motherfucking both kneecap. Mm. And then call the law. That way he can't run. <laughs> and, uh, you could tell, you could tell the baby. Yes, he is. And, um, so he barred him away from there. He couldn't come there. I don't know how he wind up back there. But, uh, she called me again. Michael stole a car and wrecked it. And yeah, wrecked it. Went to jail. So she had to go and get him out. Got that son of a bitch out. She got paid the very next day. She said she was going to go down there and gamble a little bit because she liked to play them, them, them machines. And, uh, say she went in there to get dressed and everything. Say Michael snuck in there. Took a whole damn purse and a car and left. She had a rental car. What? It, it, yeah, and left. Huh? So she said, I had my insurance money in there. That, that, that's and my mic, right? To... Hey, Marilyn, you mean my mic, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, my mic. And and took a money and a car and a rental car and left. Well, I'll be there. And she just got the son of a bitch out of jail. And she just crying, crying, crying. I say, well, you just stop the cry. Stop the damn cry. I will send you some money. Go pay your insurance. Go down there and try to play you a little and, and calm yourself down. And, and, lead, and tell that boy, the blood thinking water true and fine. I said, but his water is running real thin. Ooh. He's not treating you as a son. He's treating you as a victim. 
So keep his ass away from you. Now, if this shit happen again, don't call me and ask me for one white quarter because I done already give you your tools to work with. Mm -hmm. So uh, he didn't give up. He didn't give up. Mm. Michael had to get at his ass again. Huh? For messing with Brenda. When she got that apartment, uh, when she left Michael, her and Michael, see, Michael give her a, a various disease. Give Brenda a various disease. So, now I'm mad at Michael for being going out cheating on my sister with some old nasty whore. And then bring that shit back to her. Yep, I remember that. She already sick. He ain't had no business trying to fool with her, oh, no way. So, am I at the right one? Well, it looks like some shit in this one. But I'm using as a state though, like I brought that in. So he. Oh, sugar. Hey, we rich. Look here. I don't like that boy. When I came down there, me and Lillian, yep. and that boy went in my car and got my look and was sitting out there drinking. You remember that? What? When Raymond Earl... Cut my watermelon when I came down there on the 4th of July. You know, my car be loaded when I get there. Mm -hmm. I had a half a gallon of Crown and a whole bunch of more different kind of liquor and beer and wine coolers and all this shit in the back of my car. All right. He busted in the room like he was trying to catch something. I know how to respect my sister. I'm not going to go in there and lay up and fuck in my sister's house. So he uh, went in the car. I know you didn't do it. He went and got that look out that car. Y'all was sitting on the porch drinking. Mm -hmm. And I asked, who gave you the permission to go in my car and get my look? Him and Raymond Earl sat up there and tried to talk shit to me, and that didn't sit well with me. I, so that's the reason why I left, because I didn't want to put his blood on my hands. Oh. So I told Brenda, I say, as long as that boy there and Raymond Earl, I won't be there. Because when they do ignorant shit, I want to straighten it out. Oh. Oh. And sorry, right, baby. I'm doing great. How about you? No shorthanded, but we're making it. Oh, you might work better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. What is it? Yo, hey Marilyn, what happened to Seth when that when she got well, you, that you loan? Think some good? You think it's some good? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, April twenty-six. Ah. Uh, Mm. It's a little dark to me. 